Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to update you guys on a hike that I did out in Gold Canyon. So this was in the Superstition Mountains and if you have watched any of my other videos of the Superstition Mountains you guys know that the Superstitions hold a place in my heart. It's very near and dear to me. The hike that I went on was Lone Tree via the Peralta Trail in Gold Canyon. Good morning everybody. So today we are gonna go on an adventure in the Superstition Mountains. We are going to go on the Peralta Trail. So I've actually never been on the Peralta Trail and I'm so excited. When I was a kid, I grew up in Gold Canyon. I lived there until I was like 12. So I actually went to, for K through five, Gold Canyon Elementary School and they ended up shutting down that um, school. They made it into a community center. That means that the elementary school that I would have gone to is Peralta Trail Elementary School because that is the new elementary school in Gold Canyon. So we are gonna go to the end of Peralta Trail and we are going to park and go on this awesome hike. I'm gonna do the Peralta Trail to Lone Tree, I believe. And so we're gonna get to see Lone Tree and Weaver's Needle and I'm super excited because obviously Weaver's Needle is super iconic. Wherever you hike in the superstitions, you can usually spot it. I've got my coffee and I've also got some cinnamon toast. It is an hour drive. It's already 8.20. Let's start driving and get started on our Sunday adventure here. This trail overall was 5.4 miles out and back and about 1400 feet of elevation gain. And this trail was a very basic trail in the superstitions. I think that this would be a great moderate trail for you. I think that this would also be a great one if you want to go backpack at Lone Tree. I want to go back and do that. I think that that would be so awesome. And it wasn't that difficult of a hike that I wouldn't be scared to do it with a big pack on. So maybe this could be a great beginner backpacking trail for you. On the drive out to Gold Canyon, I first had to stop and get some gas, which gas is insane right now. It's above $4 here in Arizona. So that was not super fun. Once I finally got onto the road to get to the trailhead, it was a dirt road. So I drove on this dirt road. It wasn't anything too scary. I've been on way worse dirt roads. I was able to take my CRV and be totally fine. I got there at 9.30 in the morning and the trailhead was pretty packed and there were a lot of older people and I did this hike back in March. So that might be why it is peak time for snowbirds to be here in Arizona. So I'm sure it's not as crowded now, but the good news is that there was an overflow parking lot that was in this like dirt lot um, a little bit further away from the trailhead. So I got a spot there super easy. The super nice thing about the parking lot is that there was a bathroom. So I was able to stop, go to the bathroom, get everything situated and continue on the trail. This trail was super beautiful. So as it started, I could see off into the distance that there was a mountain that had a yellow tint to it. It was very similar to the color of Battleship Mountain. Um, in my blog, I have a whole post on Battleship Mountain so you can go check out what that mountain looks like but it's a tint of yellow to it it's a very interesting color and this mountain that I saw off into the distance it reminded me of Battleship and I was like oh that's really cool I didn't realize at the beginning of this hike I was going to be hiking up into this canyon looking thing like all these mountains around I didn't realize I was going to be hiking up into it so I actually reached the top where that mountain was with the yellow tint and then I went even further past it. So once I made it all the way up to where that mountain was, it was only a little bit further to Fremont Saddle where you get the amazing views of Weaver's Needle. So I'm going to put in some video of what that hike looked like. It was a very basic superstition hike. As I was hiking, I was like, wow, this feels like a mix of Squaw, a mix of the superstitions, a mix of Battleship. But at the end of the day, it's the superstitions because the superstitions has all of those elements because it is so huge. The hike up was a very steady incline. There were lots of areas that were shaded by trees, so that was really nice. Once I got to that area where the mountain that reminded me of Battleship was, the terrain changed a little bit and it was more flat. Once I got to this flat area, there was a lot of different direction that you could go in, but it was still pretty easy to navigate. Especially if you have the All Trails app, I would just download the map just in case ahead of time. I just recently bought the pro version and I have loved downloading the maps because Signal is so sketchy out there and this way I never have to worry about getting lost, especially when I do these hikes alone. 
after these flat areas, I reached the Fremont Saddle. The Fremont Saddle was two miles from the trailhead and I had gained about a thousand feet of elevation and it took me about an hour and that was with stopping and taking in the views, taking pictures, taking videos. A lot of people stopped here at the Fremont Saddle and then they did not continue going on. I had seen Lone Tree on all trails and I really wanted to reach that so I continued if you're looking at the Fremont Saddle, if you go off to the right, there's a trail and it takes you to this beautiful tree that's off on its own. And there are all these little spots where you can sit, enjoy Weaver's Needle, see the tree. And this would be the most beautiful camp spot. So I really want to go back to do that. But for this hike, I just took some pictures at Lone Tree and then I had some lunch. I had some tuna and crackers and I just sat and got to enjoy Weaver's Needle and soak in the beauty of it. I actually took a video while I was on the trail, so I'm going to insert that right here. Right, hello everybody, I'm going to update you from the trail because it's more scenic here than in my bedroom. So it was about two and a half miles to the saddle, the Fremont saddle. And that is where you get the main view of Weaver's Needle, which I think you can still see behind me right now. And then I went an extra 0.3 miles to the Lone Tree, which I have video of me walking through the Lone Tree. And I stopped there and I had some lunch. So I stopped at the Fremont saddle to have some trail mix, stopped at the Lone Tree to have my tuna lunch. So now I'm heading back and it has been such a beautiful hike, definitely a moderate hike. It feels like a mix between squaw and flat iron, but not as difficult as either one. So that is my update right now. I'm about 3.3 and a quarter miles in and I'm heading back. So I will update you guys later. It was so tempted to continue on and go to the base of Weaver's Needle, but in March it is starting to warm up in Arizona. So I was afraid it was gonna get too hot and I was afraid that I would run low on water. So I didn't want to do that. So I will definitely go back to hike Weave to the base of Weaver's Needle because I think that that would be so cool. But that's gonna have to wait a while because now it is 100 degree weather in Arizona and the superstitions can be super dangerous in the summer. So I will probably get to do that in the fall. After my lunch, I decided to turn around and hike back. I didn't really see much wildlife. Um, it was a very crowded trail, so that makes sense. At the end of the hike, I noticed all of these wildflowers around me and it was the perfect way to end the hike. So overall, my stats were that it took three hours, but that included, I think, my lunch and hanging out at Lone Tree. It ended up being about 1,500 feet of elevation gain for me and 6.27 miles. That also could have been because I parked far further from the trailhead. But overall, it was such a fun hike, and then I went home, and I got to play the piano and just have a chill weekend. So this was a pretty quick hike and a quick video for me to make. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all on my next adventure.